به یار به فرست There she goes, back to her final resting spot. Right to the crusher. Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a couple months since my last update. Figuring where the hell's this guy been, right? So I've been having a lot of building projects with the farm outside um, in a separate video I'm gonna get to that and go through what we did there we kind of re renovated our calf barn out there you probably can't see out the windows too bright but uh get you one out there so there's the farm again but uh that building right there we um did some renovation too but that's gonna be a different video uh today's video oh, getting the light here is gonna recap on our no start with our 96 Dodge that we found in the scrapyard. So I picked this bad boy up uh, just after that last video I posted of it with the no start. Got it here home. It's been sitting outside. It's just been kind of collecting dust. We've been, like I said, getting other projects done. So I've been tinkering away at it and I finally got the motor pulled out. I wanted to do a video of the whole thing. Um, just didn't happen. We. Uh, I came in here a couple times, just kind of tinkered on getting it out, and then this morning I actually pulled it out. Um, so what we have, if you didn't watch the previous video, we have a 96 Dodge 2500 with the 12 valve Cummins, and it, if you guys are Cummins enthusiasts at all, it does have the 180 pump on it, the P7100. Um, if you're not, basically it's this guy right here, it's the life of this motor. Um, so that's kind of what I was after on this. So I'm going to take this pump and we're going to put it on my come and swapped F-150 build that I got. Uh, previous video back if you want to catch up on that. A lot of stuff happened to that too. I know I left, the, left a lot of you guys hanging on the F-150. Um, I'll get to that in another video too. Today's on just this motor. So what we're going to do here today is we're going to get this truck out of the shop, get the mess cleaned up. I'm going to take the engine. I think either up to the parlor where our steam cleaner is or bring a steam cleaner down here, get the engine all washed up, see what we're looking at, and I'm hoping to get the injection pump off of here. Um, it's a little, I don't know, I mean stuff does move, not too bad, but I kind of want to just check it out-ish to see if I want to tackle putting governor springs, delivery valves, and uh, probably some uh, billet holders up here. Not sure yet. Or if I'm going to send it out and get the pump looked at, redone, and set up right away at the pump place. So I'll probably put you on time lapse. We'll get this pulled out of here with the skid steer, get that washed up, get the pump off. So stay tuned.
All right, guys, we got the pump off, and I took the wire wheel to it, clean it up a little bit. It didn't turn out too bad. Uh, not sure if I'll just leave it or throw some paint on it, maybe. But um, anyhow, <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure it's a virgin pump, never touched before. Uh, it's missing two bolts here, but I see that it never came with the fuel shut off, so I'm thinking they must have either took it off because it wasn't working. But anyhow, what makes me think that is because this bolt or little screw right here was never out. It's a tamper proof. So basically, you just take the grinder here, cut a little slit across it here, and then we got her loose. So first time it's coming out right now, <clears throat> and this one also will get him out of here. <clears throat> so it should be able to come right off. Oh, come on. Well, let's just take them out first. Put it in our little pile here. All right. Well, everything looks factory. There's the foot. That's the if you're the fuel plates and all that stuff play a big part in here so basically that's the foot here and the fuel plates right here if we take that out we'll find <clears throat> well let's just take it out quick <clears throat> hold on a second put you guys down here sometimes you guys just gotta give these kind of Just gotta be careful so these things don't fall into the pump. <clears throat> All right, so so if you look down in there, these holes are slotted so you can move that fuel plate forward or back, more fuel, less fuel. So it's right in the middle. Should be on a factory setting, and then we pull them out. I'm pretty sure that is a factory fuel plate. So, anyhow, the fuel plate kind of rides against. I'm not a big P pump expert here, but there's springs and there's levers down there that make it all go with the governor. So, we're gonna do some digging on this. I'm gonna call up uh, my pump guy here. I usually go through uh, Feral Diesel, Seth Feral down there. He does all my pump for the pulling truck stuff. And then, uh, get some parts ordered for this thing. I think I want to go with 5K Governor Springs. Uh, I'm going to ask him what we're going to do with the fuel plate here. But then we're with 191 delivery valves. Then we're going to see about, they call this the rack plug here. If we're going to modify this one or get one from him um, <clears throat> to go onto a, a 24 valve truck, this oil fitting has got to be moved to the other side here. So I got to take this guy out, put him over on this side. And then uh, I've seen a lot of guys, you got to weld this fitting up because on this side of the pump, let's see, this side of the pump, it's a, uh, uh, what do you call that, limited how much oil can go into it. This otherwise is a straight open fitting. So we'll weld it, get it the same size, a little pinhole, so it doesn't get over oiled. Otherwise the oil comes out, makes a big sloppy mess. But, um, <clears throat> gosh, got a <laughs> head cold going on, it's no good. So anyhow, we're gonna get this pump kind of finished up. I'm gonna get the parts ordered. We're gonna get the motor here. I think we're gonna split the uh, transmission off of it, get the tr transmission oil drained out of him, get the transfer case taken off, get the stuff all put away. Uh, it's never a bad thing to have a 12 valve laying around. We have our payloader Komatsu. It's also a 12 valve, so it'll be a good spare engine for that if that ever happened to have something go wrong with it. But, um, I'll keep you posted on the parts for the pump coming in. We're gonna get a tour. Let's see, what did I say in the beginning of the video? We're gonna give you guys a tour of the barn here. You can kind of see a little spoiler. We put our new roof on it, did that ourselves there. And then the whole inside of it's this little white bar right here um, for our caps. We redid that whole thing. So we're gonna have that. And oh, we got the uh, 8630 still here in the shop. I did finally figure out that it is leaking coolant into the oil through the block. So we're going to have to pull him apart again. That tractor just seems to love living in the shop here. It was in here all last winter for what we do, uh, drop the valve seat. 
So we did the head job on it. So that'll be upcoming content, tearing that down. We got some uh, snowmobile content coming up. Uh, we'll be doing some work to the snowmobiles, building a new ramp, all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.